hello everyone you are welcome to mathematics tour in this video i will discuss multiples of a number please if you are seeing this channel for the first time kindly subscribe to my channel and share the link with your friends what are multiples of a number multiples of a number are got when you multiply the given number by positive integers take for instance you want to get the first five multiples of 6. So that will be 6 by 1, 6 by 2, 6 by 3, 6 by 4, and finally 6 by 5. So this will give us 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. So that means 6 is the first multiple of 6. Then 12 is the second multiple of 6, 18 is the third multiple of 6, 24 is the fourth multiple of 6, and 30 is the fifth multiple of 6. So that means the positive integers here tell us the position of each of these multiple. So the first 5 multiples of 6 will be 6, 12, 18, 24, and 30. So, um, if you want to get the um, 30th multiple of 6, so it will be very easy for you. So, this is the number whose uh, multiple is needed, okay? Whose 30th multiple is needed, okay? So, you just multiply it by the position 13. And that will give us the multiple of 6 that uh, belong. That will give us the multiple of 6 in this position. Okay, so that will be 180. So that means 180 is the 38 multiple of 6. So it is super easy when you ask to find a multiple of a given number in a particular position so all you need to do is to multiply the given number by the given position so from this we can deduce something and what is that if you want to check if 180 is a multiple of 6 okay so what you need to do is to divide 180 by 6 if you get a old number that is uh the if you get a whole number, that means um, 180 is a multiple of 6. And the result you are going to get here is the position of that 180. So in this case, 180 divided by 6 will give you 30. So that means 180 is a multiple of 6 and it will be seen in the position 30. So that is the implication. So, let's look into some examples. Is 378 a multiple of 15? So, what we need to do is to divide 378 by 15. If our answer is a whole number, then that means it is a multiple of 15 and that will give us the position of 378. So you can take your calculator and divide 378 by 15 and your answer will be 25.2. Of course, this can never be a position, right? Because it is not a whole number. Since we did not get a whole number here, so that means 378 is not a multiple of 15. So let's look into another example here. I uh, want to check if 1440 is a multiple of 15. Once again, you need to pick up your calculator and divide 1440 by 15. And um, it will give you 96. Okay? So since this is a whole number, that means 1440 is a multiple of 15. And the position is this 96. So let's look into another example. Which of the following is a multiple of 13? So any number that will be a multiple of 13 
should be divisible by 13 and that will give us the position of that number so pick up your calculator once again um divide 299 by 13 so your answer will be 23 so that means 299 divided by 13 the answer will be 23 so this is the uh, this is a whole number and it tells us that 299 is a multiple of 13 and the po its position is 23rd so i can circle this okay then the next one is a uh, 655 so if you divide 655 by 13 okay so 655 divided by 13 gives uh 50.3 so as this is not a old number that means 655 is not a multiple of 13 because it has no position okay so this one is not then what about 173 173 divided by 13 so pick up your calculator again and divide 173 by 13 and the answer is um, approximately 13.3 uh, so since this is not a decimal since this is not a old number that means 173 has no position and it is not a multiple of 13 so the next one is 2193 divided by 13 2193 divided by 13 gives 168.6 168.6 so it means that it has no uh, position here and uh, it is not a multiple of 13 and the last one here is 396 divided by 13 and your answer will be uh, 30 uh, point 5 approximately 30.5 that means this is not a, a multiple of 13 as well now we need to calculate uh, lowest common multiples now we need to find the lowest common um, now we need to find a uh, lowest common multiple of um, any given numbers so um, we also have two methods of doing this the first method is by uh, listing or writing out uh, the multiples of the numbers involved then you can now select the lowest among them of course the first one will be the the of course the first um, common multiple will be the lowest uh, common uh, multiple so take for instance we want to get uh, the common multiples of uh, 5 and 6 for instance now so we need to uh, write out some multiples of 5 so you have 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 then uh, let's write some multiples of 6 6 12 18 24 30 okay since we have a uh, common uh, multiple here okay so we can stop so this is the first common multiple so the implication is that um, 30 is the lowest common multiple of 5 and 6 so this method is pretty uh, cool and good when you have uh, small numbers but when you have uh, big numbers then there will be a problem okay it will take you a long time to write out the common multiples uh, and if uh, the common the first common multiple is far away then that will be um, challenging okay so the other method is this you have five and six you want to get their common um, multiple so what you need to do is to get the product of five and six which is 30 okay we're not done you now check uh what is the highest number that can uh, divide uh five and six in this case it is one so when you divide your answer by one you still have 30 okay so that means 30 
is the lowest common multiple of 5 and 6. So this is uh, very uh, easy. It saves you time and you get your answer on time, when, most especially when you are dealing with big numbers. So let's look into uh, more examples. So this is the first one. Find the lowest common uh, multiple of 36 and 48. So let's solve this by using uh, the two methods. So uh, if you want to do this now, you have to write out uh, the multiples of some multiples of 36 and that is possible by uh, multiplying 36 by some positive integers. So the first one will always be 36 times 1 which is 36. So 36 times 2 will give you um, 72. So you can pick your calculator to do this. Okay, it helps you a lot. So um, 36 times 3, we have 108. 36 times 4 will give you 144. So if you do 36 times 5, it will give you 118. So let's stop here for now. So let's check if uh, we're going to have the first common multiple. Uh, by the time we list out the multiples of uh, some multiples of uh, 48 okay so the first one will also be 48 times 1 that will be 48 48 times 2 that will be 96 then uh, 48 times 3 that will be 144 so you can see this is the common uh, the first common multiple and then it's going to be uh, the lowest uh, common multiple so that is uh, how to do this when you make use of this method okay so the lowest common multiple will be uh, 844 so let's use the second method so you have to multiply 36 by 48 so you can pick your uh, calculator and uh, multiply 36 by 48 if you do that, you will get um, 1,728. So this is not your final answer. So you look at the highest uh, number that can divide 36 and 48. Then you look for the highest common number that can divide uh, 36 and 48. And in this case, it is obviously 12. 12 can go in 36 as well as 48. So we'll divide this answer by 12. If you do this, you're going to get 144. That means 144 is the lowest common multiple of 36 and 48. So this method is super cool when you have big numbers. Let's look into another example. Find the lowest common multiple of 30 and 45. So, if I want to use the second method, I'll say 30 times 45. Okay, you can use your calculator to do that. 30 times 45, that will give you uh, 1,350. So, what is the highest number that can divide 30 and 45? Obviously, it is uh, 15. So, when you divide this uh, by uh, 15, you'll get what? You'll get 90. That means... 90 is the lowest common multiple of 30 and 45. So let's look into another example here. Okay. So from this list of not from this list of numbers, write down one a factor of 15. So a factor of 15 will be uh three. Okay. And if there's another one there you could uh, pick it okay so a factor of 15 i'll pick here is 3 then a multiple of 18 so a multiple of 18 will be um 18 multiplied by the positive integers so the first one will be 18 times 1 18 18 times 2 that will be um 36 the next one is an odd square number so an odd square number so earlier in this lesson you were taught how to get square numbers square numbers are got when you multiply an integer by itself okay so um the square about this square number should be an odd number 
okay 36 is a square number but it is an even number so the next one is 49 is a square number from 7 times 7 and it is an odd number so i'll pick 49 here yeah? then a cube number a cube number is got when you multiply a number by itself uh three times okay so here yeah, it will be uh 27 that's three by three by three so i'll pick 27 here yeah? so if i scroll down okay that's all okay so that is um uh, how you could um uh, attempt questions like this okay so this will be the end of this video if you are seeing this channel for the first time please kindly subscribe to my channel and share the link with your friends mm -hmm.